Hello YouTube, Dark Vigilante here. Today I will show you how to set up the Horde script for Colbot. Credit to the Colbot Horde project members. First, let's discuss what Horde is. Horde is essentially what solo play is. If solo play wasn't solo, you can use 2 to 8 players and the script will level, choose skills, attributes, and equip items as it progresses through the game without any input. I've personally tested Horde and got similar results to that of solo play. 196 hours with 8 characters were used to test the script, all different types not just Hammerdens. Sadly, the setup is much more involved and complicated than solo play for initial setup. Even though this is true, Horde is still an excellent, worthwhile script. First download the Horde script. In this case, it comes with a complete working copy of Colbot. This makes it easier to separate in a different folder and not confuse other Colbot files. Once downloaded, you need the same dependencies that Colbot uses as this is still Colbot. Links in description below to download and install those if this is your first install. After downloading extract somewhere easy to access, we will be in and out of multiple folders within Colbot and Horde. Next, I strongly suggest you open and read the README file for Horde. It goes over everything we need to know and how to set up Horde. This is a beta and as such isn't perfect. I'm not certain that any more work will be done with the script in the future. For now, it is as is. I suggest starting it and letting it run without too much interference. Don't add items or try to help. Adding items that aren't programmed to be used can cause you to lose items. This is your first install of Colbot. Don't forget to give D2Bot.exe compatibility mode for Windows 7, or if that doesn't work, Windows XP Service Pack 2. Secondly, make sure to run as admin. If we take a look at the README, the next step is to create our team. I suggest making the characters in the game first. Make sure you get the names correct. I adhere to case sensitive characters and so should you to avoid issues. In this tutorial, I will make eight characters as I did in my private testing. Making a spreadsheet or just a text file can help keep track. We need at least one sorceress for teleporting to different areas. The rest can be whatever you like. I decided to use three sorceress, three paladins, a barbarian, and a druid. This comp will not only be strong, it will eliminate the need for enigma and CTA. Barb can use shouts. Druid provides a ton of extra life, and the rest are pure damage and teleport. Once you've created the characters and accounts in game, we can make the profiles. Go into your Horde folder and find the d2bot.exe and run it. To add a profile, we press the Add button from the left side menu. I have created eight profiles, one for each character. The main areas that need to be filled out are the following profile name, account, password, character, realm, game path, and the entry script. I strongly suggest changing the game info or as it will be known as in game, the game names the bot will make, to something else. Game path is your Diablo 2 LOD game or game.exe. By pressing the folder you can find it and select it. When done make sure to press apply before pressing OK. Lastly, I strongly advise to check the box that says visible, while you can always click each copy of the game for each bot. It's easier to just have it already there once it starts. Also want to briefly go over keys. We are using eight characters. This means we need eight key sets. Diablo 2 and LOD are required for each character you wish to use. The keys also need to be working if you wish to play on battle.net. To add keys, we simply click on the keys menu button on the left side. In the box with an addition sign, you may name the key what you like. This is for your bot to keep track of, not the game itself. Next on the right side, you will see another name. This name is the one that will appear in game if it's being used. Classic and expansion keys are to be plugged in here with no spaces or dashes. 16 digit and 26 digit keys will work. At the end, make sure to press apply, then OK. For each character, we will need to select a CD key to use for that character. To change which key set a character is using, we need to edit the profile for that character. 
Open the profile for the character you wish to designate a key to, then find the drop-down box on the right side that says Key List and select the proper key. Don't forget to press Apply then OK. Horde unlike Solo Play uses character configs that are tailored to Horde. In order to use these, we need to copy, then rename character config scripts tailored to Horde, and finally edit them. First navigate to your Horde folder, D2BS, Colbot, Libs, then Config. We can now make a copy of the proper character for Horde and edit it. For my first character I chose a Sorceress. Let's copy the Horde version of a character config file, then edit it with our in-game character name. Make sure to keep the format with the periods intact. Next, we will open the config file where we need to make some necessary edits. I suggest either Sublime Text or Notepad++ to edit anything for Colbot. Links below. The line numbers may change or be different for your example, but the edits will be the same for the most part for each character. I will be showing a basic way to edit character configs. You can edit or add if you like. On line 12, where it says config.hoard.team, change the name to your team name. You can have the team name be whatever you want. Side note, I suggest a small name, as Colbot has issues with lengthy names and passwords. If you remember from before, I used a text file to keep track of important information, like team names, etc. This team name will need to be the same and edited for each character. Skip down to line 208 in my case, where it says config.publicMode equals zero, change this value to a one. This will allow us to party and invite other bots to our team. If it's not edited, they will not join each other's team. On line 230, I also suggest changing this line config.packetShopping equals false to true. This speeds up shopping. On line 250, config.packetCasting equals zero, change the value to a two. This is the fastest way to cast spells. This concludes the edit of the character config. Make sure you remember to save the file before exiting. Next, we will take a look at some settings. The Horde settings are located in D2BS, Colbot, Libs, Horde, Settings. Once there, open the settings.js file. Inside, you will find a few different options we can enable or disable. Everything is labeled and self-explanatory. None of these options need to be changed. Logging runes, gems, and experience are a nice visualization of progression. There's another more important settings file we need to edit. To find it, we need to navigate to D2BS, Colbot, Libs, Horde, Settings, Teams. Once there, find the team template.js, copy and rename the file to your team's name. As you can see, I've already done this. Once done, open the newly created JS file and we can edit our team. Scroll down to the profiles and we can plug in the needed information for each team member. The profile name is the name of the profile in d2bot.exe, not the game. Account is your in-game account name. Character is your in-game character name. Class name is the character class in game such as Paladin or Sorceress. Role can be Teleport, Follower, or Battle Order or Bow. We only need one teleporter, and one bow the rest can be followers. Build is which build the character should use for its skills. We can open another file to see our options. If we navigate to Colbot, Libs, Horde, Builds, we can see builds are separated into classes. For this example, we will look at the Sorceress class. Since I'm using three Sorceresses, I've chosen to use one of each type. When choosing a build, it's best to copy the names exactly with case sensitivity. Lastly, we want to assign rune word builds to each character as well. To do this, we need to navigate to this folder, D2BS, Colbot, Libs, Horde, Settings, Crafting, Rune Words. If we open one, we can see the rune words that will be used as the character levels. Many of the builds are fairly similar, but it's worth it look around. Once we have the one we want, we can plug it into our team settings. Don't forget to save as we move on.
you can now start Horde. If you want or need help, please post on our Discord link in description. The rest of the video will just be a demo. Thanks for watching and subscribing.